What's up my ponios, Andy Andy Vlogs. Excited to show you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're gonna be showing you how to replace your deadlock with one of these new smart locks. Uh, this is from Ufi Security. These folks re reached out to me and provided me complimentary this smart lock here to go over this demonstration and installation. So just knowing my biases, uh, this is not a sponsored video, um, but this is a tutorial on how to connect one of these things. These are really cool. Ufi Security is one of my favorite apps and companies because they don't charge you an arm and a leg for monthly subscription. It's actually built into it and you don't have to pay for anything. The smart lock is great because you obviously have a keypad, but you can also use a fingerprint. So if you're interested in that and want to connect it to Wi-Fi so that you can also have your smart assistant unlock the front door, check front doors and whatnot, this is the product for you. I've done another video here where I've actually unboxed it and shown you what's inside of that. So consider checking out that video. Otherwise, without further ado, let's jump right into that uh, how-to. Okay, we're here on location. I got my back door. I wanna put one of these smart locks here. We've got an old deadlock. Uh, been here since the house was built. Now with this lock, uh, you can install a military grade lock. So in other words, you can add an extra layer of protection against the deadlock being cut from there. We're not gonna be doing that. So if you came here for that, I apologize. I am not gonna be doing the extra military grade lock. Depending on the type of deadlock here, you may need an extender, a Phillips screw drill bit. Um, it's easier to uh, unscrew it when you have it in the lock position, but you wanna have the door open, obviously. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to get out. Okay, we're gonna put it back in the locking position. No, we're not gonna be able to. After we take these out here. All right, these are gonna start, you know, coming out and falling out. As you pull the deadlock out. As you put it back together here, following the groove, and then pulling out this part here as well. Okay, next step is uh, installing the deadbolt. So this is a little bit different. Some deadbolts actually have the square here where you drill in and it's got the base plate. Your door frame has a few dimensions here that are kind of prerequisite for you to, before you even put in your deadlock. You gotta make sure that the cross board here is the right dimension here. You also have to make sure that the back set, meaning from where the deadlock goes into the center of the cross board, is a certain dimension, so you're gonna have to measure for all that. Okay, one and a half. My cross bore is one and a half, so it should fit. Okay, once you've uh, removed the deadbolt, you're gonna be first installing now the Eufy deadbolt here. So it comes uh, in two different sizes depending on the type of door that you've got. You're gonna need to measure your back set here. In other words, this is gonna be right where your deadbolt goes to about the middle of the hole here. So as you guys can see, mine is at two inches two and three fourths inches. So what that means here is on the deadbolt, you're actually gonna have to extend this by twisting the head 90 to 180 degrees. That gives you this extra uh, half an inch in order for it to fit all the way in. You've determined the door hole diameter, you've determined the back set length, the cross bore dimension, as well as the uh, strike plate length as well. So we have a one inch strike plate that we need to go ahead and chisel in here now. We're ready to place the deadlock in there. I've extended it here to the two and three quarters. We're gonna place it in with the top up. And then what we need to do is uh, we're gonna have to mark it and chisel out the area here in order to get the strike plate. There are tools here to do it easier where it can kind of like press in and uh, allow you to just chisel out with the pressed little diameter, but uh, you know, you can just use a pencil and do it. Now what you need to do is get a hammer and chisel. This is a one inch diameter here. We're gonna chisel out this area. Not pretty, but it does the trick. You're gonna get your screws here and I'll screw it in really easily. It's easier to, put, to do a uh, pilot hole, but I don't have my uh, drill. 
I don't have the drill bit. I lost it. Just go easy. Next up is to install the strike plate here. As you can see, we've got the two different styles. This is the more military grade, gigantic dead bolt things that are super long. This is the regular strike plate that we're gonna replace here. Okay, next has to do uh, installing here the exterior assembly. Now you may have, uh, depending on how wide this bore is. So there's a spacer here. Uh, this is for the larger bore widths here for the deadlock. Uh, you need to just take it off by uh, just peeling it back. It comes right off here. Just like that, it's got these little grooves here that connects to it. Uh, I don't need the spacer because it's a smaller uh, diameter. You feed the cord there and then make sure you put in the deadlock bolt. It fits through just nicely like that. And there you have your door lock exterior set up. Step four is mounting the mounting plate. Uh, you're gonna have the mounting plate bolts. And then if you want to, there's a dead bolt uh, screw here that is optional that you can add. You're gonna feed through the wiring here. You're gonna kind of align it best you can, and then you're gonna feed through your mounting bolts, and they're gonna connect with the exterior unit. Okay, with a tiny bit of stripping here, we were able to get these fastened in here. And then again, if you want, you can add the dead bolt here at the top to give you a little bit more strength. I'm not going to. Okay, now we're gonna install the interior assembly. Uh, you're gonna be taking off this little face plate and uh, this is where your battery fits in. This is also where the electronics here uh, connect to the exterior assembly. There are these little grooves uh, on the cord, fit through, snaps in nicely like that. And then you're gonna kind of have it coil into itself in order for you to place it onto the deadlock like that. You've got this rubberization here around here and then you're gonna be putting screws here, here and here. Finish it off with this little tiny screw here. Then you've got a little plug here to cap it off. Last step here is to install the battery. Just find the grooves here, place it in. Ready? There you are. Welcome to UP Security. Please download the UP Security app to complete setup. Now that we've got the battery installed, don't, put, don't place the cap here yet. We're going to be using the QR code here to connect the deadlock and then do the fingerprints. Okay, so we're here in the UP Security app, as you guys can see. We're going to go now and add a new product. It's pretty straightforward here to add a new device. Scroll all the way to the bottom, hit add device. We're gonna add a door, wired doorbell, battery, nope, not doorbell, smart lock, touch Wi-Fi, there it is. Here we're gonna do the QR code. I finished installation. Press the sync key for a few seconds. I heard the beep. Ready to set up. Heard the setup, now it's gonna connect via Bluetooth. I have the door closed. It's gonna calibrate lock. Close the door and calibrate the lock. You should complete the calibration side to prevent the possibility of being locked outside. Okay. Calibration complete. Okay, calibrated, connected to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is confirmed. Now it's gonna to connect to the Wi-Fi network. At this point, we can replace the cap. All right, this is back door next. Okay, now we're gonna do passcodes here. Now this uh, this little tab here is actually for uh, your manual entry with the keys that it comes with. This thing just slides. Let's go ahead and start the fingerprint enrollment. Start fingerprints. Please slightly adjust the position. Fingerprint setup complete. All right, great, we've set it up. Now it needs to update. All right, we're now updated here. Uh, there's a uh, front door, let's look for our back door. Back door is unlocked. We're gonna go in, drag the lock. 
There we go. Now it's locked. Excellent. Drag to unlock. Excellent. Now I'll show you uh, how to lock it, what it's gonna look like when I press the button to lock it. Press it, it locks. Press it again, and it unlocks. I'm gonna do my code. There it goes, it's locked now. The last thing that you can do now is you can add it to your smart assistant here. We've got Google Home that we're using. I don't use Alexa, so I'm sorry if that's uh, a thing. What you do is you go and you go to works with Google. You've got a list of all of your linked accounts. If you don't link anything yet, you find Eufy Security, and then you have to log in, and we're gonna check for new devices. You put your key in, your, your pin in for a two-factor authentication. And then what it's going to do now is it's going to bring up your device. There it is, back door lock. I'm going to connect it to the kitchen because that's where the back door is. Now it's there. We're going to find kitchen, back door. What we can do is we can ask Google to unlock it or lock it. Hey, Google, lock back door. Okay, there she goes. She locked the back door. Alrighty, well that's it. Make sure you wash your hands because now they're all oily and whatnot. But that's how you put together a smart lock, connect it with your smart assistant. Um, this is from Eufy Security. If you guys like this content here, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Please check the cards up above or in the cards in just a second here for the playlist of all my home security videos. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you Eufy for providing this uh, product to me complimentary. The links down below in the description do help out the channels. They are affiliate links. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for the support. We'll see ya.